All right, so today what we're going to do is uh, show you how to uh, get Google services on your Amazon Fire tablet. A few weeks ago on Amazon Prime Day, I bought myself a 7-inch Amazon Fire. You can see my unboxing video on my channel. Now, Amazon Fire tablet was a really good deal, 30 bucks US. Uh, couldn't pass that up. I mean, 8 gigs memory, but you pop in a micro SD card and you have yourself a huge, a huge space on a wonderful tablet. So, Amazon Fire tablet, I opted for the one with the ads. Not a problem. You can go ahead and unlock it. I'm going to cancel that. So now, I'm going to here assume that you set up your tablet and everything. And perhaps you live in Canada, you got yourself a tablet, or you live in the States and you just don't... Uh, uh, have so much stock into the Amazon ecosystem. Uh, anyway, myself, I'm in Canada, and most of the services don't work well up here. But it is an amazing tablet, and you really can't go wrong with the purchases. But the purchase, so I'm going to show you how to go ahead and get these Google services on here. It's not very difficult to do. Uh, first thing first, you're going to go into the settings icon and you're going to go into the device options here and then you got the serial number. So you hit this a few times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it was telling you that you were steps away and so on. So now you go into developer options because that's now enabled. And you're going to have to enable uh, the ADB option here. Tap that debug over USB. That's what you want. And there's a whole bunch of other options here. So, uh, but that ADB one is the one you want. So now we're going to go out. Alright, and there you have it. It's that simple. Uh, now you're going to connect the Amazon cord that came with it into the top. And now it's already plugged into your computer. So now that we are plugged into the computer, what we're going to do here is we are going to pull up rootjunkiesdl.com and what you're going to see on that is a couple of files here. Don't worry about the uh, start download buttons at the top and bottom. What you want is the uh, Amazon Fire 5th Gen Super Tool, 152 megabytes, so you're going to go ahead and click on that and download it and then I'm going to click on the open when done here Got roughly 30 seconds left and it'll open so what this is going to do is it is going to install Google Play and then from there you're going to go on your tablet and you're going to go ahead and install other files that's needed. Uh, for instance, if you were to download Clash of Clans or Clash Royale, it's going to say it needs Google services and then it'll direct you to the proper place to go ahead and download them and install them, opening up a whole new uh, ecosystem on this tablet. Okay, so a couple seconds of opening. So now it's open and we're going to go ahead and extract this to the desktop.
So it's busy doing its extracting. I already have one extracted, so I'm going to cancel that. bring the other one up. So now we go ahead and open it. So now what you're going to see here is a bunch of options here. So you go, do you want the Amazon 5th Gen Fire? And you go ahead and click on the Fire 5th Gen here. Blow this up here. So now, you see here on the tablet it says, whoops, allow USB debugging. And your device has went and switched over here. So now what you're going to do is you want to install the Google Play Store since uh, it gives you a whole bunch of options. I mean, Flash Fire app and the, you want if you want to root it and so on. Uh, remove the ads on the lock screen. They don't bug me. They're just the Amazon coins. So I'm going to go ahead and hit 2, install the Play Store and hit enter. It's going to go ahead and do tells you you have to in, do your ADB debugging and I'm going to click OK on that and then hit any key to continue and it's going to go through and install all the apps. So it's taking quite a bit of time and we will go ahead and come back to this in a little bit. Nope, maybe we won't have to come back to it. There you go. It's happening fairly quick on, quickly now. Installing app 404. You can see them popping up. That's it, all done. And just like that, wow. And just like that, the Google Play Store magically before your eyes has appeared. Okay, so we went and installed the Google Play services. So now what we'll do is we'll click on the Play Store and it will go ahead and ask you to add your account. I'm going to click Existing and I'm going to sign in. So sign in, continue. And there we go. Hit the retry button, and it's going to tell you to accept the terms of service. And boom, Google Store is on, just like that. So now you can go ahead and download different things. I'm trying to think of a quick something I can download. Hmm. 
So I chose Clash of Clans to go ahead and download and install because I know that one uh, should ask you. It uses the uh, Google um, APIs for keeping track of achievements and so on. So go ahead and boot up. As you can see, a Fire 7 tablet with uh, probably the lowest end tablet from Amazon. It um, loads up Clash Royale fairly quickly. Uh, I mean, it won't boot it up as quickly as maybe a Galaxy S8 or the higher end tablets, but in the span of probably six seconds, it boots up. So. So normally, I shouldn't ask you, but we'll see here what happens. I'll just keep doing this to get through the game here. Now it boots in, it's going to tell you here, I'll click on the settings button and go ahead and click on uh, link device. So I'm not signed into Google Play, I'll click on the sign in button and it's going to tell you that's where it tells you that you need the update to the Google Play services. Click on the update button and it will take you to the what you need to continue to update. Go ahead and accept that. So it starts you off by getting the Play Store, and then as you progress through it, it'll tell you if you need to update stuff or you need to add stuff in order to use it, and it takes you to where you need to go to do it. So as you can see, all in a whole, it's not a very difficult process. It's very easy, and it unlocks so much more potential uh, than just having it locked to the Amazon ecosystem. Gonna install that, and then I'll be able to sign in and use it to to keep track of my Google my Google achievements. You can get uh, Google Play Books and the Google Movies. The only thing it can't do is this can't cast to your device, but you can download a uh, huge range of other items. There you go. Now if you want to kind of clean this up, you could go ahead and put the... items in a folder. So it just took me a minute there to get it. But that's it. It's all um, good to go.